shakedown of what I'm carrying out on for my Tahoe Rim Trail hike. So why don't we start off with the backpack. The backpack is a Hyperlite Mountain Gear 3400 Southwest. Um, oh, and real quick before we start, I would just weighed my pack. I have about five days of food. I have two liters of water full. I have four water bottles and my pack weighs 32 pounds, all things said. So, um, Hyperlite Mountain Gear backpack. Um, I have a Bear Vault uh, 500 bear can with five days of food in it right now. It's quite heavy. Um, they ask that you carry this into the desolation wilderness, so I'm just gonna hike the whole trip with it. I just figured better be safe than sorry on that deal because last thing you want is to lose your food. So um, let's get into the pack. I have a towel here, just a lightweight towel, dry right off after like jumping in lakes. I have a, um, I think it's a Thermalite sit pad uh, to be able to take breaks to sit down on. Uh, got my food kit. It's got uh, deuce, the spades, and it's got um, TP and some dude wipes. Of course, gonna pack all that stuff out. I have, here's the, like my electrical charging components and um, I have another tri, it's basically a camera holder for my trekking pole. And I have a uh, battery pack here that's 1200 milliamps. So I should be able to charge my phone about five times with it. I might take my watch with me. I haven't made up my mind yet on that. So anyways, I got that. Uh, let's see. So as I said, I got four liter water bottles of smart water. Uh, two of them are filled. Let's flip around to the front of the pack. Um, I do have a Garmin inReach SE. Uh, it's paired to my phone that I carry. Good to be safe that way i'm also able to text my wife when i get to camp and stuff at night just to make sure she knows that i'm okay she's also able to follow me with it so let's get into the pack itself now the one thing i don't have in here right now is my knife i'm trying to figure out which knife i'm taking so anyway that's the one thing that is missing Okay, I got some extra Sawyer stuff there. I got an extra water bladder, and I think I got the backwash pieces in there. I have a, here's my um, sleep pad. It's a Climate Static. It has an R value of four. What I really like about this pad is that it fits inside my sleeping bag. We'll get into that in a second. I haven't had a chance to use my bag yet, so it's the one thing I'm concerned about on this trip is that if it's gonna be warm enough up there at those elevations, it's a 30 degree bag. It's a, I'll show you here in a second. Here's my uh, medical kit. Basically it has uh, some medical supplies plus some medication I have to take and things like that, personal toiletry items. Um, I have my, all my clothes here. Um, inside I have a pair of uh, Long John synthetic top and bottom. I also have my hiking shorts, a pair of flash dry uh, running shorts. Uh, I'm gonna carry two pairs of socks. I'm gonna have one on my feet all the time and the other one I'll wash the day of and then dry it out over the day and put the fresh ones on and rinse, repeat type thing. I'm gonna do the same with my underwear. So they're both in here as well. Oh, and the socks I'm using are in Gingy Trail Runners. Like they're like low ankle high socks. So anyway, those, that's my clothes. This is kind of heavy. So if there's something I need to call, it's probably in there. I have a outdoor research helium 2 rain jacket that fits over my Eddie Bauer uh, 650 fill uh, down puppy that also has a hood. Both those have hoods. This is just an extra netting bag that weighs almost nothing, so I thought I'd just take it in case I need to do something with it. I don't know what, but I have a beanie here for if, when it gets cold at night if I need one. I have my cook kit. Now inside my cook kit, I have a MSR 750 uh, milliliter titanium pot. I have my fuel in here and I have a little sponge and my burner right there. So um, makes that super easy. Uh, 
I also carry a little fold out cup if I want to do coffee while I'm doing something else in, in my cup. So nice to have that option. All right. I have a pillow. This is a, a Trekology pillow. I think I actually have another pillow inside my sleep, uh, inside my uh, sleeping pad because I like one between my knees. It just kind of helps take some pressure off my back. So here's my bag. I have a 30 degree, and this is an Aegeus Max uh, 30 degree ultralight. I think it weighs maybe a pound and a couple ounces. Uh, so it's super light. And so with that, my having my sleep pad, having an R value of four that fits inside of it. And then I got one more thing to keep them warm. I got a down throw in here. I'll get to that in a second that I can also put inside. Just give me about 10 degrees more. So I think I'll be good down to about 20 with that. Here's the down throw. It's just a Costco down throw. It's really light. It's, um, I think it's a, not, maybe a pound. So uh, minimal weight for lots of warmth. And then I also use a trash or a liner bag. I think it's a gossamer here. And then I have my tent. This is a Lashan two person um, tent. I think it weighs less than two pounds and I set it up, stake it out with my trekking poles. So I hope that all works. And last but not least, I have a piece of Tyvek. And this is my ground sheet for my tent and I cut it out to fit the footprint of that so that there's no extra and that's what I'm taking on my Tahoe Rim Trail hike so hopefully this video was helpful if you have any questions or anything feel free to leave it below and I look forward to seeing you all out on the trail have a great day bye bye